What time is Daddy coming home? Look, I don't know. Okay, you know what? Matter of fact, just go to bed. Go to go to bed. today. Do you want to tell me what's bothering you? You know, this only works if you talk to me. I can't sign off on you going back to work if I don't feel like you're ready. It wasn't my fault. I was just trying to protect those kids at the park. What do you mean? What danger did you feel like they were in? Boys, their mother wasn't even paying them any attention. She actually threatened me. They all did. I was just trying to protect them. That's all. I know what it's like to have parents that don't want you. They say if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. So now I stand up for kids who couldn't stand up for themselves, or whose parents wouldn't protect them. Did you feel that your mother didn't protect you? If my mother had protected me from my father, maybe I wouldn't be so messed up. I'm really sorry that happened to you. But just because a mother yells at her children who are misbehaving doesn't make her a bad mom. I 
crazy. They're crazy. I'm not crazy. They're crazy. Hey, I need to take this call. Stay right by my side, okay? Don't go anywhere. Hello? Hey, I appreciate all morning. And we can set a time. I tell you to stay by my side? Where's my ball? I'm not thinking about this ball. Look, little man. You are the most important thing to me. This ball means nothing. You know there's crazy people out here. They can kidnap me, and I don't want that to happen. My job is to protect you. And I can't do that if you don't listen to me, okay? Thank you for helping with the ball. Well, Mr. James, this will be our last session if I feel like you've made significant progress since the park incident. But I'm curious, how do you feel about your progress? Actually, yes, I do feel I've made progress. Really? Well, that's great. Can you tell me why you feel that way? I saw something yesterday that usually would have set me off. Really? What was that? Well... I saw a father about to yell at his son yesterday when I went walking. But instead of yelling at him, he pulled him aside and told him why he'd be upset with him. Mm. I've never seen anything like that before in my life. I was usually a punching bag for my dad. Well, Mr. James, I'm glad you were able to see a different side of parenting. And I hope that these sessions have helped you change your perspective on disciplining children. I mean, sometimes I have to discipline my daughter, and that doesn't make me a bad parent, does it? Now let's get you out of here, okay? I am going out tonight. <laughs> let's get you back to work. So how do you discipline your daughter? Excuse me? Do you hit her until you're too tired to hit her anymore? Look, Mr. James. I don't think your line of questioning is appropriate. Now, our session is over, and you have to leave. 